Hey, it's me, OG Duffy, and we are doing a CEX challenge. I've not done one of these in an age. Now, I'm setting myself a £20 budget, that is all, cheap as chips, but we are going in and focusing on one system only, and that system is, of course you knew it already, the PS3. Free. These games are cheap as chips at the moment. I keep banging on and on about how great this system truly, truly is. So with less ado, let's get to it, guys. Into the CEX. How many games can I get for the PS3 that um, for under £20? Now, there are three rules to this challenge. Rule number one, no sports titles, unless it's a boxing game. Rule number two, stay within budget. Yes, do not go over £20. Sometimes difficult. Especially if I see something a bit tempting. Uh, and rule number three, do not buy a game I already own. It's a great way of building your collection, especially if you're uh, building for a specific uh, system like the PS3. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Wish me luck. I'm not going to need it, though. Happy days. So here we go into the CEX and always looking in the cabinet first to see what retro goodness there is before we get to those PS3 titles. Now, Tetris 2 there. £6 for a loose cart. I loved the original Tetris on the uh, Game Boy. It was a wonderful, wonderful game. I invested so many hours into it and it's probably one of the only games I think my dear old dad, bless him, he actually played and he really enjoyed to the point of I even went and bought him his own Game Boy and he took it on holiday and that with him. He used to spend hours on just Tetris. No other game ever, just Tetris. But anyway, guys, what do you know about Tetris 2? Is it any good? Is it as classic as the original? I doubt it very much because it's not that valuable. And uh, hey, you know, it's a, it's a game I don't really hear a lot about. So drop me in the comments. What do you know about Tetris 2 on the Game Boy? Leaving the Game Boy cartridges alone, we go on then to the N64, and this caught my eye here, look, Xena, Warrior Princess. Now, oh, we all remember the TV show, well I do, certainly. She was quite an attractive light looking lady, if I recall, Xena herself, but I never knew there was a video game of it. Um, looking at it now, I mean just that bit of footage there, I had a quick look before I, uh, I put it on the video, and it looks like a, a Tekken <laughs> wannabe, really. Um, I assumed it was going to be like a bit of an RPG, a playable sort of platformer RPG type game, but no. Uh, I've been quite disappointed, I think, if I'd have bought this back in the day. Or am I missing a trick? Was it a classic, guys? Anyway, Xena, Warrior Princess. Yeah, was it any good? Have I missed a trick? And the other TV show, that was Hercules. Do you remember either of them? I thought they were classic. I really enjoyed them, sort of that fantasy adventure type TV shows. Drop me in the comments, do you remember them? Anyway, Mega Drive games there and the Sega Master System. Unfortunately, I'm seeing less Master System games these days. And then on to the PS1. Quite a nice little range in here, actually. Some decent titles. Um, but this caught my eye here, right? Chocobo Racing. Without the manual, it's boxed. £115. Now, Squaresoft are synonymous, of course, with the Final Fantasy range, and uh, I mean, PS1 helped sort of put Final Fantasy on the map. I know it was sort of available on the Super Famicom and stuff first, but you know, it was the PlayStation 1 really when Final Fantasy 7 came along that really marked its name, didn't it? Made it sort of household name. Now, do you know anything about Chocobo Racings? I've, I've, I'm, I'm aware of the title back in the day, but I never ever seen it played know nothing about it so it's an interesting one for me that finishing with the playstation and then going off to the uh, the pc cd rom games and this caught my eye instantly star wars empire at war Reporting. now i own this Reporting back out. in the day and i've probably still got it tucked away in a cupboard somewhere if i'm being absolutely honest it's a, it's a strategy game, very much similar in the vein to sort of um, Age of Empires 2, but it's obviously set in the Star Wars universe. Uh, build your bases, upgrade your bases, get troops, resources, all that sort of stuff. Um, I was a big fan of these games back in the day. I mean, there was, um, there was like Warcraft 2 was another great one, and Starcraft. I really enjoyed them. Um, so, all in all, do you have memories of this sort of game, these strategy games like this? And do you miss them like I do? I'm sure I'd probably bring them out on Steam and that for PC, but... Sort of a franchise, not a franchise, but a niche game that I haven't played for quite some time. Um, yeah, I like these. The easier ones, you know, the ones you can just get straight into. Warcraft 2 and all that. Yeah, happy days. 
took me back this did. And from the PC CD-ROMs we then head to the GameCube and the Wii U section. Rebel Strike there, now £8, it was £6 for an age that game, but still an absolute bargain, brilliant games they are, graphically I remember they really stand out for me. And of course the Wii U, still some major bargains to be had on this Donkey Kong Country there, tenner, can't go wrong with it mate. And the main section, what we're here for today's challenge, the PS3. Uh, not a bad selection in here, £20 to spend, let's see how many I can find. Let's go through the shelves and remember, stay till the end to see what I actually pick up. So a closer overall view of the shelves and then we'll delve in and pick a few titles out and take a look through a bit closer at what's tucked in these shelves. But this is say, it's just an overview, quite a nice range in here, the usual load of Call of Duties of course. Um, F1's a title I'm seeing an awful lot of these days. Same with like your FIFA's and that as well though, innit? You always can see lots of them sort of games. Although I've found, I think they've uh, they've reduced the number of FIFA's they have in um, CEX, particularly with the PS3. It's like they've just got so many. They must have just binned a load. <laughs> they probably did, I'm laughing. They probably just binned them. <laughs> oh dear, the joys of FIFA. But uh, yeah, I do love the PS3 though, guys, if you don't know that already. Now, here we go. Look at this two, right? Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare, the other Red Dead game there. £5 in titles. It's a Rockstar classic. What's not to love about those, do you know what I mean? Just great, great games. And I mean, for a fiver, how many hours of gameplay is that going to give you? It's going to give you loads. Uh, the Undead version, I've got both of those. I've got to confess, I've never played the Undead version. Am I missing out, people? Let me know in the comments. Carrying back onto the shelves on the overview here. Um, always some interesting games here. There's loads of Tomb Raider in. They must have had a real sale of Tomb Raider games. There's more Tomb Raider than there are FIFAs. Personally, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> but anyway, guys, onwards and upwards. Uh, quite a few Uncharted as well. Again, another great franchise for the PS3. But these down here, look, the uh, the PSP films. Look, Family Guy, Blue Harvest. That's quality for 75 pence. Amazing. But this caught my eye here, look. Dragon Age Origins. Now, this was £2. Now, this was really weighty. And to be honest, I should have picked this up, but I didn't, guys. I didn't. So a bit of a spoiler there. But onwards and upwards. Uh, going back through the shelves. Now this caught my eye here. Look at this. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Now this was £18 or Gundam 2, should I say. Obviously not the greatest title to pick up when you're doing a £20 challenge. But I might have done it. But you know what? I cracked it open and there was no manual inside. So it was a no-go for me. But anyway, it would have been a nice addition to the collection. Now, obviously, Gundam is, is that Japanese. Are they robots? Is it military outfits, armor? Something like that. I'm not, I'm not really in touch with that side of things. And uh, Dynasty Warriors is sort of a Japanese hack and slash type game. So I'm assuming, rightly or wrongly, that they've combined the two. So it's going to be sort of a side-scrolling or 3D-scrolling hack and slash uh, featuring Gundam, obviously, if that's robots or if that's heavy armour, I'm not quite sure. But one of you guys will know, drop in the comments, please correct me. Moving on from our Japanese fighting game there. Um, carrying on through the PS3 shelves. Now, LA Noir, £1.50, again, a rock star title. Oh, it's such an amazing game. For £1.50, it's just an absolute bargain. It will give you hours of play. Now this caught my eye. This is a Ninja Gaiden Sigma. 9 out of 10 that was rated. It's had some good reviews according to the cover there. Now I didn't pick this up because I was unsure if I owned it or not. So uh, I really do need to update the app that I use that keeps uh, sort of a log of all the games that I own. Especially when I had a game hunting because I'm missing some great titles. And that wasn't expensive. Um, and obviously it's got a 9 out of 10 rating 
or whichever magazine that was. Uh, but Ninja Gaiden games, are you a fan? Yes, no? Drop in the comments. Now let's get back to OG Duffy Towers and I'll show you what pickups I've had people. Oh yes. So we are back now from that CEX challenge. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but the rules are simple. Rule number one was to stay within budget of £20. I am well within budget. No problem there, guys. £17.50 spent, which means I'm £2.50 under budget. I should have bought another game, really. Anyway, I bought six titles in total. No sports titles and no boxing games. I am allowed boxing games, but I didn't get any because there weren't any there that I don't have. And of course, no doubles. So what games did I get, guys? Well, I got a nice little selection, as always. But I'll tell you what, before we come to them, you know what time it is, people? Of course you do. It's beer o'clock. So... As I say, it was done, and I've added six titles to the PS3 collection. Now, before we get into it, and I'll show you what I got, etc., I have to say, I am big into the PS3 at the moment. I really, really am. It's a great system to collect for. It still looks brilliant, I think, anyway, to play. And uh, the price of the games are amazing. As I pointed out there, some of the games on the shelves, you know. I mean, look, you're looking at your, your LA Noir, £1.50. What a game that is for £1.50. Amazing. There's just so many great titles like that on there. So do check it out if you're not already on board, but I know a good few of you already are. Anyway, first game, guys, was this. There you go. £1.50 Army of Two. All of these games, by the way, as we show them, are all complete. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with everyone and go, and there's a manual. You know I buy games with manuals all the time, unless it's a Wii U title and it's one I need to finish off the PAL set, then not necessarily am I fussed about the manual at this stage. But anyway, army of two there, £1.50. When one man is not enough, you get this game. Oh yes, happy days indeed. Next one. Now this was a game, one of you pointed out to me recently, you said, you were looking, I showed you my PS3 shelves and you said, uh, I saw Fallout there, New Vegas, but I didn't see any other Fallout games, and that's because they weren't there. So I picked this up, Fallout 3, £1.50, pence, that one. Prepare for the future. As I say, all complete, but £1.50, I know little OG, my son, he loved all of these Fallout games, and he said they were really, really good. Uh, this case was a bit of a smash in the corner there, and a bit of a... A nastiness going on down the edge there on, on the plastic. But I've got that many spare PS3 covers and cases that it ain't a problem, guys. I'm going to swap it out for a decent one. Oh, yes. Now, this third title, there was loads of these in there, all right? And it is this. It was Tomb Raider, but this is Underworld, £2.50. Now, I recently got, well, not recently, a few months ago, I got the... Uh, PS3 HD collection of Tomb Raider, which is, hey, it's great, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's the classic original Tomb Raider, sort of redefined for HD graphics for the PS3. Them HD collections, by the way, guys, a lot of people are jumping on board with them. So I believe they're going to be quite collectible. So get them while you can. I mean, I think the last one I got was probably the Silent Hill one. And uh, I didn't pay an awful lot of money for it, really, to be fair. So, HD collections, let's have your thoughts. Drop in the comments. Do you think there will definitely be some money in those guys? Because I think there will be. Anyway, Tomb Raider Underworld, £2.50 there. What's not to love? It's Tomb Raider. I mean, my original memory of Tomb Raider was on the PS1. It's one of the first games I had on my original PlayStation that I went out and bought apart from the package that it come with, you know? And uh, I remember I was blown away by it. It was great, 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 great game. And it's a franchise that just keeps growing and growing and growing. But £2.50, I'm not going to complain at that. I've not played this one before, so hey, might be good for a little romp one Sunday afternoon out here for a few hours. I'm sure it will be. Uh, because hey, it's Lara Croft, so what's not to love with that one, guys? So three down three to go oh yes happy days but gotta stay hydrated people <laughs> you know that mm. oh yes happy days onwards and upwards so what we got next it's a lego game and it's a, a ps3 batman beyond gotham so this is batman lego 3 all right um 
well, you can see I love my comic books, so I love anything sort of superhero and that. Uh, and I'm more a DC fanboy than I am a Marvel. In terms of the comic books, not the films. Um, I love Batman. I love the Batman films, all, all the arcs of it. I think it's just brilliant. I mean, there's some great characters in this. You've got Harley Quinn and stuff. I do like a bit of Harley. And uh, there's the Green Lantern and all that sort of stuff. So explore the lantern worlds and other iconic locations. Let's be honest, right? Lego games, they're just great fun, aren't they? What's not to love about the Lego franchises of all these great spin-offs? I mean, I've got the, I think on the Wii U, I've played the, the Hobbit one. That was good fun. And I've played the Star Wars, obviously, but not all of them. Um, so I'm going to try and revisit a lot of these Lego games. Because, uh, not revisit them, they're sat on the shelf, but I just don't get to play them, guys. So I want to try and get around to playing a good few. But anyway, too many games, not enough time. Oh yes, it is a world problem, you know. This next pickup, guys, I've come over to the PS3 shelf. Oh yes, is I want to show you something. So this is Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix. Now this one was four pounds, all right, four pounds. Uh, and I'll be honest, I've always looked at this in store and I just assumed I had it because of this. Where is it now? Uh, H or J, K, there it is, because of that. Kingdom Hearts 1.5. Now I've looked into this, done a bit of research. Now they're the first Kingdom Heart games and they're the second Kingdom Heart games. So uh, they're both all completely different games. So uh, at me days with those, I've now finished it. So I've got the 1.5 and the 2.5. So they can go and sit on that shelf there together. Happy days. I'm pleased with them two pickups in particular. Get in there. Oh. We're nearly there though, guys. That's the sad thing. We're coming to the end. But don't worry, there's plenty more content on the channel like there and there and there and there if you've not already seen those videos. But let's get to my final pickup. What is it? Let's see. The final pickup from this PS3 challenge. Oh, yes. As I say, all good things come to end. And unfortunately, this video has to end at some point. But what game is it? But it was the most expensive of the bunch, and it was a whole five pounds. Oh, yes, it was. And it is another Lego game, and it's Harry Potter years one through to four. Now, I'll be honest, I love the Harry Potter films. I read every single Harry Potter book as they come out, so uh, I'm a big fan. So why have I never played the Harry Potter Lego games? Makes sense, doesn't it? As I say, there's just too many games and just not enough time. I mean, if you come over here and look at over here, some of the Lego games I've got here on the Wii U, for example. I mean, there's loads. I mean, I've got Batman 2, Batman 3, City, Dimensions, Jurassic Park, Avengers, Superheroes, <gasps> Hobbit, Star Wars, the list goes on and on and on. But I've just got to make time, guys. I really do. I'm looking forward to the summer, having that door open, the beer fridge plugged in, loads of cold beers, gaming going on. That is when I'm going to make the most of this room, although I'm out here so much at the moment. But anyway, so what do you think of that pickup, guys? I didn't think that was too bad. There's another one following on from this, obviously in years five through to seven, I believe. Uh, and I've got this one on the red label, the Essentials label. Now, a lot of you guys are collecting the Essentials labels. Um, obviously, I personally prefer the originals apart, aside from the Essentials, but you know what? The way my... PS3 collecting is going, I'll probably end up collecting the Essentials as well. Uh, there's no difference in price between the Essentials and the uh, the, the uh, normal. So, uh, yeah, be rude not to, wouldn't it? But hey, let's just focus on getting PlayStation 3 games as it is. Anyway, guys, that concludes this lot of pickups on this challenge. So, did I complete this challenge? Well, I think I did, guys. I stayed under budget, £17.50 for all six of those games. And let's be honest, there's some great, great titles there that I'm really looking forward to visiting. You know, I've got no sports titles, so another ka off the list. And of course, I stayed within budget, as we know. And yeah, no doubles. I don't already own any of those. The problem I've had lately is where I've been game hunting on shelves. I'm looking and I'm thinking, oh, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. And actually, I haven't. So I've been missing quite a few games of recent times. Um, 
So yeah, I've got to update my, my app and I come down and I had a look through the app and I've updated it. So I've got there with it now. So when I'm game shopping, I can look at the app now and know if I've got it or not. Oh yes, happy days indeed. I do love collecting for the PS3. Now your thoughts guys, PS3, is it gonna be a really great future collectible or not? What do you think about them HD collections that I mentioned? Do you think they're gonna be very collectible? Because I personally think they are, and I think you should jump on board with that now. That's my little tip anyway. Anyway, I love the PS3 in case you didn't know. I've got a Wii U collection to finish off, and uh, I'm probably about 20 titles away, so I've really got to chip away at that a bit more as well. Get that done, and then focus a bit more on this PS3. I'm just loving it. I really, really am. Anyway, I've been OG Duffy. I want to hear your thoughts. Drop in the comments. Hit the like button. Share. Do that good stuff that you always do, because I do really appreciate it. And if you don't already do so, hit that subscribe button, because it makes me a really happy man, mate. Puts a smile on my face. But you already know that. I've been OG Duffy. You've been awesome as always. This beer is for you and the PlayStation 3. What a system, guys. Jump on board if you don't really do so. I'll see you on the next video. Look after yourselves. Laters.